This is a medication module where the medication or the prescription details of the patient can be recorded. Click on add icon here to enter the medication or the prescription details and as you can also see a drop down list appears here which shows the previously entered drug details in this particular medication field in their previously saved order. Either the user can select from the drop down list or the user have another option to type in the description here manually also. Now medication module is supported by RxNorm database which is a universally recognized database of medical codes provided by the World Health Organization. The user can type in a few characters and search for the codes from the database which is provided by RxNorm. Or the user can type in the description here manually also. So once the drug detail has been selected from the database, the strength field will automatically be filled. And here in the quantity field, we can specify the the quantity and the direction to use in this particular field here. These are mandatory fields that's why they are highlighted by a yellow background here. And let's click on this more option where we can add more fields which will enable the user to add more details or more information related to this particular drug detail added here. In the refill field, we can specify the number of refills required for this particular medication. And in the start date and the end date field, we can specify the start date from which date this particular drug details has to be started using. We can select the date from the calendar. And here we can also specify the end date also. And here we can specify the company from which this particular drug comes from. And here we can specify any relevant notes related to this particular drug detail added here. And if the doctor feels that this particular medication added here could be used on a frequent basis, we have an option here called add as favorite. And we can also assign a label. We can add multiple existing labels and also create label also at the same time to enable search more easily. So here the details are entered. And if the doctor feels that the fields which were added by clicking on the more option should be available each time a drug detail has to be entered here. You can enter the relevant information here and once clicked on save, these fields with the information will be saved as user preference and will be available each time a drug detail or the medication detail will be entered in the medication module. Now again, if the doctor feels that this particular field or any of the fields with information has to be removed from the module, simply by double clicking here and the particular field with information will be deleted or removed. And again, if the doctor feels that a field without information could be removed, you can have it done simply by clicking on this close option and by a simple click, the particular field without information will be deleted or removed also. Now here, once the details are entered, the doctor can opt clicking on the save option to save the detail and if the doctor feels that more drug details have to be entered into the medication module, you can opt clicking on the save and add option. So what happens here is that the previous drug detail will be saved here and an additional dialog box appears here where new detail or new drug details can be entered. And here we can specify the mandatory fields. Click on save to save the detail. Now let's click on this favorite icon here and we have a folder called favorite drug folder and this for the medication of drug details which were previously added as favorite and click on the ellipse icon and we can search for the label which was assigned to it and as you can see this was the drug which was just or previously added as favorite simply clicking on this add icon we can have the drug detail imported into the EHR page and this will enable the doctor to reduce a lot of charting time now let's click on the ellipse icon here and we have a couple of options here. Now let's click on drug code. Now drug code is a database the user wants to import into the system and it can be done from the settings page or very specific drug details can be added in this particular folder also. It can be done by simply clicking on this add icon and here we can enter the relevant information, information like the drug code, the medication, the strength, the company name and the amount also if required and once save that particular drug detail will be available here and simply clicking on this plus icon here or add icon we can have the drug detail imported into the EHR and this will also enable the doctor to reduce a lot of charting time. Now let's click on ellipse icon again and we have a folder called email pharmacy. Now this particular option will enable the doctor to send the prescription, prescription details to a particular pharmacy. Now in this particular box called famous pharmacy folder Click on this add icon and we can add the relevant pharmacy detail here 
and here the pharmacy name and the email ID are mandatory fields and once clicked on save the pharmacy details will be available here simply click on this message icon and confirming it the particular drug details will be sent to this particular pharmacy and the drug detail can be sent to multiple pharmacies also at the same time so once sent the patient will also be notified that his or her drug details has been sent or referred to a particular pharmacy now let's click on this ellipse icon again and we have a folder called print visit description now this particular option will enable the doctor to print or take printout of this particular drug detail added in this current visit of the patient now before completing the health record if the doctor wish to edit or delete any of this previous information added here click on the detail now to delete simply to click on this trash icon to have this particular drug detail deleted and to edit the same procedure you can make the relevant edits here and click on save and that particular information will be saved and the edits will be reflected here also now let's go to a new visit where a new health record will be created and that can be done by clicking on the health record option here and click on new health record as it is a new visit Now as you can already see the drugs or the prescription details which were previously added in the last visit will be available here. The doctor can confirm with the patient if this particular medication is entered or not. If entered, he can click on the particular drug detail and confirm it is entered. So what happens here is that it will be moved to a folder called past entered drug and can be accessed by clicking on this ellipse icon and click on this past entered drug folder. And as you can see this was the drug detail which was just treated as entered and as you can see this was automatically moved into the past enter drug folder if the doctor wishes to use this particular drug detail again he can have it done by simply clicking on this add icon to have the drug detail imported into the current visit it can be done in the future visits of the patient also now let's click on the ellipse icon again and we have a folder called print medication now this particular option will enable the doctor to print the medication or the drug details of the patient which was prescribed in this particular visit and also in the previous visits of the patient also.